Cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology are setting the stage for a new era in personal finance, digital payments and all sorts of financial transactions. But it's also going way beyond that. Joining us now to explore the promise of blockchain and how it will change our lives is Algorand Foundation CEO Stacey Warden. Thank you for joining us this morning. So for a lot of people who are wondering, I know you have a, a pure proof of stake approach with Algorand here. What does that mean, though, for the average person who's trying to understand how blockchain could be working in their lives and in their businesses? Yeah, we're a layer one blockchain, which means we provide the underlying layer for all kinds of people to build on top of us. So we don't build specific applications. We enable applications to be built on top of us. And we have a very efficient uh, blockchain with a very low carbon footprint. We were founded by Silvio Macaulay, who is a maybe the world's most famous cryptographer, living cryptographer. Um, and he's a Turing Award winner, tenure professor at MIT, the whole bit. And this, our blockchain uses a pure proof of stake consensus mechanism, which enables it to be very decentralized and also very fast. So we do about uh, 6,000 transactions per second, moving to 10,000 transactions per second this year at a very low cost. So it's a sub penny transaction fee and a very light uh, carbon footprint. So we use uh, and again, it's our consensus mechanism that enables us to do this, but we use the energy of about a small neighborhood and we buy carbon offsets to make sure that we're always carbon negative. How, how will people, Stacey, realize the difference, the, the delta in their day-to-day -day experience when blockchain truly is part of that experience? And, and what will the benefit be? Yeah, I mean, I think of the big five and the number one is always going to be payments and smart payments. And you know, right now, if somebody in Brazil wants to spend to send somebody in France a movie, they can do that in one minute over WhatsApp, a movie. But if somebody in Brazil wants to send somebody in France ten dollars, you know, it has to travel through the correspondent banking system of the U.S., clear at the Fed. Somebody takes between six and eight percent off the top and it might get there, you know, four days later. And the fundamental value proposition of a blockchain is actually that that currency doesn't move at all. It's that it's one ledger. You know, the history of financial transactions has been really for the last 10 years that each bank has a balance sheet and the messaging between those balance sheets has gotten better and more efficient and cheaper. But a blockchain is a completely different animal. It's one ledger. So that transaction between say Brazil and France will happen immediately. It'll happen in 3.9 seconds on Algorand. No forking, final settlement, not reversed, and that is just a huge fundamental thing to understand about blockchain. And then in addition, there's things that you can do on blockchain, like martial identity, you can do tracing of goods, so for supply chain, you can have a better, uh, a more democratic governance system, and you can do tokenization of real world assets. So there's, a, you know, I call those the big five, and I can talk about each one of them, but I think the important thing to understand is that it's one ledger that everybody writes to, and of course, if it's one ledger, you can't have one entity control that ledger. It has to be decentralized because if one if one you know computer gets attacked, it has to be able to live in a healthy manner on all of the other computers. And I want to ask you, because obviously we've seen generative AI front and center. How do you see that playing into perhaps the speed and reducing costs of things on blockchain? Well, I don't know that AI has a lot to do directly with blockchain, but for the apps that sit on top of blockchain, for sure, you can imagine uh, AI kind of optimization of protocols, for example, and of course the, the messaging and the communication between uh, AI type bots and the user interface, I think could have a, a much better uh, user experience. But you know, the idea of a blockchain is that, uh, you know, transactions are entered and then they're they are immutable. So a blockchain is not about truth so much, but it is about integrity. And so that you know when something is entered, nobody else can mess around with it. And that turns out to have very important implications for all kinds of things. Indeed, but well, we do appreciate you joining us this morning. Algorand Foundation CEO Stacey Warden, thank you for joining us this morning.